It's game day! Marching bands, a hobby stemming back to the 1700s, which is now a staple of every football game across the country. For the next few days, the Rocket Marching Band will be following the Rocket football team to Florida, where people attempt to keep alligators as pets. I'm Abigail Swingsky, and this is the Boca Raton Bowl. Other than my poor pronunciation of Raton, this town has a rich history of retirement, football, and according to the mayor, low taxes. Boca Raton has been hosting bowl games since 2014, with the first game being Marshalls versus Northern Illinois. Now the rest is just history. Toledo's history of bowl game wins, well let's just say it's not great. But this year, that will change. Hopefully. We're off to Boca Raton. See you in 24 hours. What have you been doing to keep yourself entertained on this trip? Well, I just slept for the last two hours since I got no sleep last night. I've been watching uh, the Joy Painting on my phone. It's been Joy Painting? Chill. Yeah, it's Bob Ross. I was listening to this, this is his new album. You should listen to it. It's called SOS. Amazing. Amazing. I've been watching Netflix. Well, on Netflix. I've been watching Manifest. It's a TV show. It's good. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. How would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Solid 7. Tell me about your car snacks. I have way too many weird ones. I have non bread, <laughs> peanut butter cookies, uh, raspberries, grapes, applesauce, um, a cliff bar, and some Slim Jims and an apple bite. Mostly I have these because this is my dinner for tonight. And then I got um, a Cajun style snack mix. So, and then I got some chili lemon peanuts. Uh, I have a very healthy balanced dinner. I have Mountain Dew Voltage uh, and then Fritos and then a honey bun. How are you liking the bus ride so far? You know, so far it's just been a great bus ride, but uh, I just wanted to let y'all know to smash that like button and drop a comment down below what you guys are thinking about this the whole experience. Make sure you get the, that notification bell on. Uh, we, we, love, we love all the support that you guys give us. Uh, sponsor today is uh, NordVPN. Um, <laughs> How did you sleep? Uh, I didn't. I can't. <laughs> it's 3.07 and I'm tired and I have only got an hour of sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. Hi! <laughs> I basically closed my eyes the entire night, but I didn't sleep, so that was fun. I slept good. Which bus were you on? I was on the bus too. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Did you enjoy breakfast this morning? Yeah, it was okay. I, oh, I'm not in the camera. I wish I would have had some ketchup, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Yep. I liked it. Our band director, Dr. Rhodes, just said get back to the buses ASAP 10 minutes ago. So ASAP. And now there's people running on the bus with bags of food because they just got it like 12 seconds ago. Here we come, Boko Raton. Welcome to our hotel room. So right over here, you got our lovely bathroom. The towels are shaped like shells. It's quite nice. And then over here, if you keep going, we got lots of luggage. You know, we have a nice mirror. You can get those good OTDs. Oh, uh, we got a picture of stones on the wall. You know, very lovely, tranquil quite nice. We got some of our lovely roommates, Montana and Rachel, on the bed. We got another bed. We got a very lovely balcony to a building and, and some nice foliage. Let's go over here. Yeah. Be careful. Watch your step. There's a lot of stuff on the floor right now. All right. Let's see what we got out here. You know. It's not much, but it, it's an honest balcony, so. What are we about to do today? We're about to go practice for the bowl game. We're getting on the bus to go to practice. I have my saxophone, I have my bag, which has my bucket hat and my sunglasses. Because I don't want to get darker. I'm dark enough, you know? How are you recovering for the bus ride? I took a nap today. 
I woke up and then I went right back to sleep. That's how I'm recovering from the bus ride. <laughs> I slept well enough last night to make it worth it, but still. Uh, well, I think that little nap just did it for me. <laughs> I'm I'm still recovering. I mean, I slept pretty well last night, but like, yeah, I'm catching up on a lot of sleep. Honestly, I slept for a good eight hours, so I, it really wasn't much of a recovery. I, I slept on the ground. You gotta sleep on the ground. It's just the best thing to do. Did you have breakfast this morning? How'd you rate that? Three out of ten. Three out of ten? Why? I'm very picky about my breakfast, and I like juicy, like moist muffins, and it was dry. And they also should not put the cream cheese and butter right next to each other, because when I tell you that Abigail and I got like three tablespoons of butter for our bagels and not cream cheese, I was like, great. This it was is pretty tasty. No, I went and got cream cheese because that's disgusting. T O L D E O. It's it's literally right there. Like we couldn't get it right. Are you kidding me? T O L D E O. Where are we headed now? We're heading to a high school in Boca Raton for rehearsal. <laughs> Made it. Shorts in December, clear skies, and endless summers. What could get better than this? Rehearsal only lasts for two hours. And when I say that that rehearsal was the shortest two hours of my life, I mean it. So we just got done with rehearsal. We are currently stuck in the parking lot because we rehearsed at a high school and they're getting out. They have some really expensive cars that, like a Porsche, Mercedes. I did not have a Porsche or Mercedes as my first car. So we're just kind of impressed by them right now and their affluence and wealth. But we cannot get out of the parking lot, so now we're just gawking. How did rehearsal go today for you? Rehearsal went really well. We're at a new field in Florida, and we ran through the show a couple times, and halftime's going to work out really well. <laughs> rehearsal was fun. It was a little hotter than normal, but other than that, it was good. Who do you think's going to win the game tomorrow? Uh, I think UT's going to win by, like, a mile. It's got to be Toledo. I mean, we're MAC champs. All we can do is hope, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. We're off to the Boca Raton Bowl, Toledo versus Liberty University. Who's gonna win the game? UT, obviously. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Probably Toledo. Who do you think's gonna win? We're all winners here. Obviously, yeah. 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 And with all of that traveling behind us, we were finally on our way to FAU Stadium to, as stated before, douse those Liberty Flames. Kickoff started at 7.30 with a pregame of parachuters. Something new for us, to say the least. I'm not gonna lie, those first two quarters were rough. It wasn't until third quarter when we finally got ahead with a touchdown, and all we needed to do then was just keep it where it was. There were some moments where we faltered, yes, but it was a waiting game. And that waiting did pay off. And we doused those flames. Should smash that like button, share button, notification bell on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>